Hi guys, um, I'm so happy today. It's my graduation day <laughs> and I'm also trying to make a photo in my uh, surgery wear. I'm really very excited today. This is a journey that has started really, really, very long time ago and I'm glad that finally it's coming to an end and like I said, I will no longer be introducing you guys. Uh, so I'm introducing myself to you guys as Chizoba, medical student in Ukraine, but rather Chizoba, a doctor living in Ukraine. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm really very excited. Um, overwhelmed. A lot of things are happening, but I'm looking forward to carrying you guys along to see the rest of this. Congratulations to Nanami Chizoba, Augustina, the latest doctor in town. Good afternoon, dear graduates. Good afternoon, professors, docents, and guests. We are glad to see you here. Today is a really important day for our graduates, so we are glad to see here friends and relatives. Прошу нести прапор університету. Це право надається студенту стоматологічного факультету Антону Мельнику. Welcome, Mary Antonio, with the flag of our university. Uh, to meet your dreams, to do uh, 
hard work will, uh, of course, uh, will uh, help you to accomplish this. And uh, uh, hope you will remember your time at Kimmerico University with, uh, uh, with good uh, memories. Uh, thank you for your attention. Honorable graduates, director, resident, members of parliament, but really the graduates, it's your day. Because you are taking one step further, you just took the medical oath, and I vaguely remember when I did it last time 20 years ago. So it's really your day, and I hope you celebrate that. So it's my honor to address you on behalf of the World Health Organization and to see so many young, new doctors taking their steps forward to work in medicine, but in all other areas related. In my experience, you really don't know where you end up in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. And I vaguely remember when I took the medical oath 20 years ago, I never thought that I will address you in Kiev today or that I have been traveling around the world and being in different places. So, but what you can take with you from the university, all the time you've spent together, is that you use your knowledge, your critical thinking, and you genuinely try to improve people's health, health with you every day. And that's very important to take with you, because some of you become doctors, some of might be managers, some of you work in another field. But what is very, very important when you have graduated from medical faculty, you have certain values, you have certain way of thinking, and that's very, very important to take the society further. You're entering to the labor force soon. Some of you are working already. At the United Nations level, and as WHO, we were looking what is the health workforce in 2030. We know that the technology is developing, we know that there is artificial intelligence, we know that actually there might be less work to do as the technology, robotics, everything develops. There is a good news for you. There is one of the few areas where we actually need more workforce. And that's in the health sector. We need more nurses, we need more doctors. And if we are looking globally, actually there is need for 40 million more jobs to actually respond to the population needs, changing age structure, but also all the crises which are there around the world. So I think, I hope, that each of you will actually continue in the health sector and contribute to the work that we all take further. But I want to say here also one aspect is some of you are international students, some are actually born in Ukraine, but you might think where you end up to work. Some of you are looking to the jobs in Western Europe or the US, but what is important if we want as a health community to advance the universal health coverage, we should find a way and at least some time of our life to work also in the low-income countries, in the middle-income countries, where actually the health needs are. Because when I mentioned that we need more than even more health workers, at least half of them are actually working in the difficult settings. So I hope that some of you I will meet in Latin America, in Africa, in Pacific or Asia, sometimes in the future, 10, 20 years as we go ahead. Respected President, Director, the Vice Rector, the Dean, the Vice Dean, the entire management of Kim Medical University, distinguished professors and doctors, um, specially invited guests, family and friends, and of course, the graduating students of Change Management. I'm very pleased to be standing here and I would like to thank the following people for our success journey today. First is the uh, entire management of Kids Medical University for all their efforts in trying to give us the best education and making us capable of competing with the rest of the world. Thank you. I 
time to our educated professors and doctors that gave us great information which is served as our foundation for our journey ahead. Thank you. And to our family and friends seated here, we want to say thank you for all your prayers, your encouragement and everything that contributed to our success today. Thank you. And now to the graduates of 2019. Congratulations and thank you for all your efforts. I would want to say that today we are celebrating our journey, the years of perseverance, the years of struggles, the years of ups and downs, the early morning classes, the late nights, and all the hard work we put in to have the success today. But before I leave the stage, I would like to advise us with a quote of hypocrites. Wherever there is love of medicine, there is always the love of humanity. Let love and passion lead you through your next journey. And always remember, you are the guiding angels of your patients. Thank you. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now I am
Okay, this is a wonderful day, which is like a sister to me. And I believe that this day is just the start of new things to come, the start of better things, the start of greater things for heart. So I believe that this is like a cornerstone for the better days ahead. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. The best, the best. Congratulations, Peter. Oh, you're such a chance. You're very skilly, fine, very skilly, fine. No, 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 no. Tenacious and sagacious spirit because it takes someone that is relentless because in life there could be delay but there can be denial. So we are happy for today and we give her thank you very much. So you guys at this point I was trying my best not to get upset because uh, my parents were supposed to have arrived at this point but they were delayed so much at the airport by immigration simple reasons being that there was no one there to speak proper English to help them uh, get through but I think God they finally made it straight from the airport very tired but yeah thank God they made it to my <laughs> they made it to my Shola. I know him as Austin, I know him by a lot of names, but thank you so much for being in my journey <laughs> in Ukraine and I'm so glad I met you. So, um, so excited to be that I met this young doctor and I wish her the best of luck in our future and of us and of course more grace to help her. Amen, amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you.
Okay, a very big congrats to um, the graduates. Wish you all the best in life. To start this new journey, wish you God's best. Okay, um, a very big congratulations to the graduates. Um, I pray for God's blessings on them. Let him guide them. And um, good luck to all of them, whatever they do. That's it. So, congrats to Chizaba and myself as well. So, yeah, and good luck in everything. Hi. <laughs> Thank God today. The eagle has finally landed. She had finally become a graduating medical student. Uh, it is not an easy work. For the past six or seven years, we have been following this program. But finally today, she has had her certificate. We really thank God for that. Moreover, she is the first doctor of the family and the first medical doctor in my own family. We really give God thanks for that. And, and grant us more of medical students or more of graduating students from my own family. We really thank God for that. We pray, we will celebrate it in our village, in our home. Possibly when she will come down, we will do, it, we will do the celebration. We really thank God. So happy today. At last, God has made it. God has made Chizo, uh, Chizoba, Dr. Chizoba Naman. I was very happy. So Since happy. six years, she has been here, toiling, suffering, and reading. In short, we really give God thanks. We say, may his name be glorified. Every time in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we thank God that God gave us journey mercy. Right from since we started, we went to Abuja, we stayed, we ran around to make sure that today is a success. And God has made it in our lives. Amen. Also us through to Abuja, from Abuja to Lagos, from Lagos to Istanbul. From Istanbul to Kiev, here we are celebrating, celebrating the with Chizaba graduation and her successes. As a doctor mm. today, we give God thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. And our prayer is that God will continue threatening her, show her mercy, show her favor. Her name is Chizaba. That her name is Lady. Amen. We pray that she should continue to bless her in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God will also continue to grant us that unit, unity in our family. And, and grant us long life and strength to be all these things. We give God thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we are very much happy. happy. In short, I don't know how to start. I'm overwhelmed for all these years, you know, for joining mercy upon all the nearness on the road. But God kept us, but God lead us. See us here in a boat, in a, a, a cave, celebrating with her and others. We give God thanks in mm. Jesus' name. Uh, this is the continuation of the successes that will come in future. Yes. By our strength, and we give God it can only be God. Amen. And she, he has done it. Hmm. Our prayer is that as he has done it, we continue doing it. In he will do it name. again and again in our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Thank you, God. We are so much happy. Yes, sir. Uh, well done. Thank yeah. I want to 
want to say a very big massive thank you to Reverend Papa Kicha and his lovely wife for being available. They made me feel the love of a parent even before my parents arrived. Uh, Papa Kicha took a picture of me and we sent it to the immigration guys at the airport and that was what made them to believe my parents on time. It was really really an honor having the both of them around. Thank you so much Papa and Mama. And I also, I also want to use this opportunity to thank every single person that made it for my graduation. Even people that I was not able to see, Sai Ma, Faithful, ah oh, Faithful you're a darling, Sir David, everyone that made it thank you so 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 much and I, was, I want to say a big big shout out to Mercy's Kitchen she made this lovely meal for all of us and it was so wonderful thank you so much Mercy even with the short time notice that we gave you you also made us feel very satisfied and stuff my young lad I my madam at the top here we have Arisa my star star girl I love you mm, oh see I will miss people. My aura from day one. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, God's power is shocking. <laughs> I still love you. Elsie darling. This girl very straightforward. No skin thing girl. Precious, 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 precious. <laughs> Agrike. Precious is Agrike. <laughs> Thank you so much guys. Precious, God's power. Elsie, Faduma. I didn't have any picture with Faduma. They may be in group 13 there to be able. And we have here Anita <laughs> Mariba Kala, one of Cameroon. Thank you so much, darling, for all the effort. Lola uh, Chipa, Lola didn't put any effort, but her presence meant a lot. And here we have Blessing from <laughs> Oh my God. Thank you so much, Blessing, for everything that you did. She went to the airport to pick up my parents, and she made sure that everything went smoothly from the planning to everything and she made me feel like a queen that they thank you so much she even made me ride in a limo <laughs> thank you so much baby i love you and for every single person that made it that day i love you guys and to my lovely lovely brother i didn't even get to take a picture with him because he was running around a lot thank you he deserves so much accolade thank you so much and to my beautiful family my parents were so tired they were even fainting but they were so excited that they didn't know which one to do. Thank you so much, my lovely parents, for everything. I love you guys. Yeah, cheers to better things to come. Thank you guys so much. Bye.